Hi guys! So, the colors used on this one was Payne's Gray, Turquoise Deep, Titan Buff, Green Gold, Neon Green, the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, and Black. I want to say thank you so much to my supporters, Lori N, Richard W, Carrie E, and Walker R. Supporters like that help me keep bringing more art videos just for you. Support my channel if you can. There is a link in the description box below. And even small donations help me keep bringing these art videos to you guys. So, you can also visit my shop where there's new paintings all the time. And speaking of, I want you to look at this Genesis of fall painting. Do you remember? So, I not sure if I've actually showed the video for this one or not but I just put it up in my shop for sale and look at the gorgeous details this is a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas and this is dry and just hanging on my wall right now it's so pretty um, lots of fall colors in there and there it is I just took that picture right before I made this video and that one, you can make it yours at my shop at heathermaderart.com. So, now you guys, I'm doing one for with a, a lot of negative space. Um, so, you know that's hard for me because I'm always doing all my bazillion balloon rolls and a lot of my paintings are kind of busy. But I challenge myself every now and again to step outside the box and do some things that are different. Now, this is no silicone, so for those of you who are going to ask, no, I did not use any silicone. Yes, you will see cells. Why? Because paints and Floetrol make cells. How? <laughs> you just have to know your paints. I keep saying this, I just got a new person asking me tonight, you know, um, oh, I want to make paintings like yours. Just tell me what your medium is and, you know, what you do. Well, what I can tell you is I don't have specific formulas that I use for every single painting across the board. I know my paints and I know what properties my paints have. And I know that metallics will make cells. Um, I know that I want to layer transparent colors with opaque colors um, to get different effects. Sometimes if I want them more watery, that will give me a different effect than if it's thicker. You know, this is how the practice of knowing your paints comes into hand. Um, that's really, that experience is, is what creates the knowledge. You just don't become, uh, you don't master your craft until you master your craft and no one can really, you know, teach you that. So my camera auto shut off, honestly, for a few minutes. So you missed a few little balloon rolls here, but. Um, so Anyway, I guess my point just being that while there are definitely artists out there who gives you specific instructions, um, this much flow trawl and or this much pouring medium and da da da, and it works great for the paints that they're using and it might work great for you. I just don't paint like that and I'm more of um, I'm the kind of painter that basically every time I sit down, I mix my paints differently and I'm thinking of ahead of what kind of effects I might want to get um, with the paints I'm mixing. So it's just, in general, I am I tell all new people this and I really mean it. Just start simple because it's, you know, you don't just sit down and learn how to make puff pastry perfectly before you even know how to saute an onion or cut an onion. And I equate it with cooking that way because, you know, that's kind of how this is. Just start with Floetrol, water, and paint. Learn your mediums, figure it out. Figure out what all the different paints do. Add some metallics in there, figure out what they do. 
um, you know, this, this, um, is, this is how you grow as an artist, is by actually knowing the mediums and um, your substrates and, you know, er just everything. And, uh, you know, we, you can easily follow someone else's recipe, but to make it your own, you really have to make it your own. And you don't become a master until you master it. <laughs> So you have to be kind of fearless and be willing to scrape some things off and um, yeah. So this painting you can see, I just did a flip cup, uh, no silicone like I said, and then I thinned out the paint by dumping some off the side. And then I did some balloon rolls. And one thing I really want to preserve in this is the element of negative space. Um, I don't often use a lot of black negative space, but I do enjoy doing it. So the cool part about this painting and one of the most difficult parts to capture is the paints themselves, um, there is some metallics in the gold. And as I, roll my balloon through the metallics, the, the gold shimmer, it kind of pulled itself into some of the black areas. So while I didn't necessarily use metallic paints in the colors, it did pick up some of the shimmer of the metallic gold. And um, oh my gosh, it's so pretty when it dried because a lot of that came through. Um, I did struggle with this one a little bit because the black kept eating up my colors and I just wanted kind of something minimalist and I didn't want it to be too loud but I love that chartreuse color and that's the one that's considered like the neon uh, green in there and I just love that I wanted it to be um, able to be hung in any direction so it can definitely go it's a 10 by 20 so it can definitely go on um, you know up and down like that <laughs> or you could hang it the other direction I think so just real quick you guys <laughs> yeah, I know I love those cells up there on the top left well no the bottom right but I have to tell you guys what an overwhelming response to my poem that I wrote and read yesterday I totally was blown away and um, cannot believe all the kind comments and some of them really just got me choked up um, what a beautiful experience to share with all of you and I thank you so much for the time you took um, to encourage me. So this is some shots of the final painting and I cannot tell you um, this is one of those paintings here's the whole thing wet still and then I dried and put my ultra gloss varnish on there. Well you can see how glossy and buttery and silky it is and then I put it, um, try to take a video because it, you just cannot understand how gorgeously sparkly the painting is and how those sparkles like bled into the black, see? It's just so pretty. It almost looks like a jellyfish kind of um, rising up out of the deep or something with all of those greens and gold and the blue accents. It's really pretty, but it's almost impossible. The varnish creates such a high gloss shine that coupled with the black, I, I just couldn't get a good picture of it. Even with a video, you can see my reflection in there of my phone. But look, see how sparkly? And that little bit of shimmer kind of runs all throughout the black in the painting, and I love that part. So, yeah, this is a beautiful painting. 
and I did put it for sale up in my shop if you're interested you can make it your own and I look forward to the next art video that I can make for you I hope you have a beautiful day Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.